Yeah, it's it's certainly not. Um, it's 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 lower quality than DVD by a fair way, but it's not bad. It's what happens with these things is once they're actually being seen, they go into a box and there's probably some other there now. Never, never looked at again. Never looked no, at again. Absolutely, and and that's fine. I mean, you know, if if it's not paid for in a box over there, you know, us paying for storage there, we're not paying much for it. I'm just but, waiting to get a lot of this in by the garbage. But it is a hassle that we have to deal with. We're just having it on a, on a web link somewhere that someone else deals with and we don't have to think about it ever again. I just know if we want it. Excellent. Okay. Let's go back to this, um, John. What's the, what was the first suggestion you came I with? Scientific presentation techniques. And then you've got um, talking about science and how to talk about science. Talking to the public. Talking to the public. Talking to the public about science. Well, it's, it's, yeah, talking to the public about science. Public science presentations. I like that. A lot of people will resonate with that. Public science presentations. Getting over your message. Getting your message over. Which is the split imperative. <laughs> he used to have a chairman of the Questacon board. He used to spend most of his meetings looking for those. <laughs> <laughs> he was on that. And then the classic one, no names, no pack drill, was the time he decided to take on, you know, about the gardening around the building. The gardening round the building. Now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Chairman of huge Australian companies who are well, now on the what's no, name. Don't bother with this minutia. No, no, Gough Whitlock used to used to read Hansard all the time. He he couldn't stop reading Hansard. Well, to check it. He, to check it, to underline different bits. He would he would write to the people that typed up Hansard and, and say you've made a mistake here in the punctuation, but he'd also use it to um, to correct his junior, his backbenchers and his junior ministers to correct what they'd said, to correct their pronunciation, and to check all the things they'd said in tiny little discussions somewhere else. He loved to have control like that. I was privy on one occasion in an air, the air chairman's lounge at Sydney, the Sydney airport to be in the lounge by myself mm. until two men came in. One was Gough Whitlam yep. and one was Kim Beasley yep. when Kim was in, in charge. Yeah. And for the next 25 minutes, Goff explained to Kim how to do various things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, mean, it was absolutely um, amazing. He's, he's, he's got an audience now. And all, all he ever wanted was to have an audience to listen to him, listen to him talk. And he's got an audience of Labour faithful that will listen to him at the drop of a hat. <laughs> and he, they can't get away. Mm. Okay, what else do we suggest for this? Uh, we, 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 it's about talking, it's about speaking. Speaking of, speaking of science, how about that for us? Speaking idea? of science, well that's a bit nitty nasty. That's a bit what? I don't know what I was trying to say. Spe uh, it's, it's a bit clever. It was double barreled. Speaking of science? Speaking of science, and we're allowed to have a subtitle in here as well, are we? I assume. Um, not that many of them do. Um, we should go like Gilbert and Sullivan. We have the title of the opera and then there's always a sub from Paris yeah, of Penzance, yeah. a slave of duty. Yeah, the Mikado. I can't remember what the subtitles of oh, Mikado is. I, I, I wondered the Mikado recently. The um, Mikado? The ta town of Titty Poo? No, I don't think no. But there is, a, there is another line underneath that yeah. says the Mikado and then another line. But the Paris of Penzance is the, the subtitle of Slave of Duty. Right. Um, well, there's about seven suggestions. Are there some that you would be happy with in there? Speaking of science, getting your message over, public science presentations, talking to the public about science. I, I suggest now you type those up. Yep. Um, when look, I'm, Sue and I are going to have lunch with Brian, and so when she comes back, I'll come in here and teach. Yep all afternoon. Sue, however, has got various things to do. Uh, I'll prime her over lunch, what's going on. She'll come back and you jump on and say, right, 
and whatever you two decide, yep. I'll be happy with. All right, I'll because she that. knows exactly what the bloody costs are about and what goes yep. into it. Well, I'll, I'll, print, I'll type it up and I'll, I'll grab Sue. Yeah, and tell her about this, what we're going to do. All right. I will now find, stop this and finalise it and give it to you. You put it on YouTube and then we'll come back in here and play. And then you can actually just show up. Stop.